Noah, there's a new community, as we said, in uh, Miami coming to the fair, but what, what, uh, what do you observe? It's more a buyer market now, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, I think that the market, um, and it's not just a Miami thing, it's, it's, it's a global thing, has become a little bit more tilted. Um, it's, there's a little less urgency. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of vibrancy, um, you know, the response, I think, to, to the gallery's previews. And certainly what we've seen here today has been remarkably and, and res resiliently strong. Um, but, um, you know, but of course, um, uh, there's a context of, of, of a broader high inflation environment, um, as well as other um, things happening in the world that have, um, you know, shifted the, 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 the backdrop to, to this year's edition of Art Basel Miami Beach. But through one day of the fair here, the the level of collectors and the level of engagement in the halls of the newly designed show has been remarkable um, and we're really thrilled to see everybody come together here on an occasion of the show and so the attendance is good as as, as the same level as uh, former years absolutely Previous years. yeah it has been um and and i think one thing that's been unique is is we've seen a lot of collectors just in the last week confirming their attendance and some major um, major folks from throughout the U.S., but also at a global level, um, you know, that have decided to come, um, you know, right up to to the opening of the show, which is really remarkable. So I think also the the dates of the fair this year, the the, the spacing beyond Thanksgiving, has really benefited the show in that regard. Um, and Miami um, is the fair that continues to reward, um, you know, the city um, and and those that participate. Really, is is a is a really strong end cap to a very busy year. Merci, Monsieur. Merci.